Lester Bagley, Vice President of Public Affairs for the Minnesota Vikings, joins me now to talk more about the stadium issue. Thanks for joining us. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me on. So, Lester, I want to talk to you, first of all, the stadium issue, while there were rumblings for a long time, it really was kind of a quiet issue for quite some time, and this week it just imploded. What do you think <laughs> of that? Well, I think it's good news. I think we are grateful to the governor and to the legislative leadership for stepping up and sitting around the table and, and addressing the issue. It's been a long time coming. The conversation's gone on a long time, but uh, we're, uh, we're grateful that it's uh, reached, uh, reached a point where, we're, where we believe we're at the decision time of how to resolve this issue. So we're, we're, uh, we're looking forward to that and we're encouraged by the developments. All right, first of all, I want to ask you, what do you want to see in a stadium bill? Well, right now, the outline, there's been a bill that's been outlined, about 90% of it is done, um, and it basically designates Arden Hills as the site, and it has a funding package of about a billion, billion one, so it's, it's an expensive proposition, no doubt. It has a, a framework of the state putting in 300. The governor has said the state's in for 300, not a penny more. The, the county, our local partner, Ramsey County, is in for 350. And the Vikings are in for 420 plus, and depending on how the final package shapes out. So that's kind of what's in there. Uh, Arden Hills, um, a three-legged partnership between the county, Ramsey County, the state of Minnesota, and the Vikings. And uh, uh, we're excited to, to move it forward, bring it forward to the public and to the legislature for consideration. I want to talk a little bit more about that $300 million the state is supposed to finance. GOP leaders continue to claim that the devil is in the details concerning right. that financing and where it comes from. Now, in past legislative sessions, there have been so many options introduced from a state casino, which right. was defeated. There have been... Uh, let's talk about sports memorabilia tax, a rental car tax, lodging tax, a lottery game. So in your discussions with leadership thus far, are any of these viable options? Well, it depends on which you know subset of the legislature you talk to because there's different support for different uh, functions or different sources, I would say, um, you know, sources of revenue uh, for the state's 300 million. You know, we had, uh, for years, we've been talking about a uh, user-based financing for the state contribution, and that's a Jersey tax, a Viking, you know, tax Viking jerseys or footballs or memorabilia, a Viking lottery scratch off, uh, a satellite download um, surcharge to take, you know, to try to capture the those people that uh, download or that, that that book the NFL ticket on Directv and so satellite download. So those are the user-based financing that we've recommended for years. So th those have had some progress, some consensus over here, but. There's How much would those bring in? Do you well, know? The very, the, each one brings in a, very, a, a varying degree. But to get to $300 million over 30 years, you need $23 million a year. So you need enough um, sources to add up to $23 million a year to get you 300 over 30 for the state contribution. Uh, besides those user-based finances, there, there's, there's the gaming solutions. There's been charitable gaming suggested. There's been Racino has been a long top, as long as you know, at the Capitol. Uh, and there's, there's, as of late, there's been a blocky casino in Minneapolis proposal that's been kind of floated. So, there, so that's a gaming, uh, a gaming option. I think those, again, th those are decisions that the legislature has to make. The other option would be bonding. You know, the, the 300 million for the state basically covers the roof and the roads. The roof costs about 200 million, which makes the stadium a statewide asset that everybody in the state can use. And the roads um, are, you know, part of what will benefit the region and the entire state by fixing the roads that already need to be fixed. So, 300 million uh, to cover the state contribution. You could bond. You could take the roads and do some road bonds, or you could take the roof and put it in the bonding bill to, to, because it is again a statewide uh, benefit and asset. Uh, but again, bottom line is it's up to the legislature and the leadership to tell us uh, what makes the most sense for Minnesota for this situation. What is the best? way to put together that $300 million for the state contribution. And now talks of a new stadium really surfaced back with Red McCombs back in yeah. 1998. So in your opinion, now that crunch time is coming, can all this hard work get done in five weeks when this yeah. has been a topic for so long? There's no doubt that there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done. And, and the good news is the governor stepped up and said, let's bring it to a, a, a head. Let's bring it to a point here. And the point is uh, November 21, 23. Um, that's five weeks to pull this together, uh, but nothing, you know, focuses decision making like a deadline. So we're appreciative that that there is a deadline on this um, to get this done before the team's lease expires and to take advantage of uh, the, what our construction uh, firm has told us that if we can get the deal approved this fall, we can open by 2015 
the Met Council did a study, raised the question about a delay in a year is going to cost $45, $46 million. We agree with that, and therefore we think we need to get it done this fall. So bring it to head with a, dis with a date and a deadline about a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, but we need, we're anxious to get it out, get the package together, and get it up and out in front of the public in front of the legislature to, and to there consider. Are, and uh, I'm sorry to interject, but there are a lot of caveats attached to this potential special se special session. So right. what do you think your role is in trying to move this forward? Well, we have to help you know, round up the votes. And you know, since the since the um, disastrous you know government shutdown that was horrible for everybody in the state, including the legislature and the governor, and, and who kind of got behind it, got 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 through it. Um, we've we've given the legislature and legislators a breather, of, you know, five or six weeks. To, but over the last two months, we've been back, you know, talking with them. We've we've canvassed a lot of the legislature uh, on this matter, and and there is support for the Arden Hill site in the legislature. There is support for bringing this issue to a close. So what our role needs to be is once the state determines the package, the three hundred million dollar package, is for us to take it to the public and the legislature and to get the votes for it. Finally, Lester, the Vikings have used, as you have said over repeatedly, they're committed to the Arden Hills site. Right. So the governor is site neutral. If Arden Hills somehow comes off the table and it's no longer an option, which is the better option in your opinion? Staying in Minnesota in a different area or moving? Well, we're we're not considering moving. We're uh, we're uh, we're we're getting it done in Minnesota, and our you know our job is to is to get the, bring this issue to a close. I think that's why you've seen the Wilfs step up with $420 million plus. It's the third largest uh, team contribution in NFL history, for, and we're in a small market. So they've stepped up. They're trying to close this deal. We've got a governor who's trying to lead uh, through this and get this done, and a uh, legislature that's now at the table. So we, th we think everything is in front of us. Our lease expires after the season. We, we, we want to get this done before the lease expires, and that's our goal, and we're optimistic and encouraged with uh, the recent developments to, to bring this issue to, into focus. Okay, Lester Bagley, thank you for your time today. Thank we you. certainly appreciate it. Appreciate it.